there's this quick turnaround where the game is played. Uh, obviously, the players that have started have have uh, emptied their tanks, given everything they've had, and so uh, it takes them a little while. And, and I think we do a good job with uh, with our training staff and uh, uh, with Pierre, uh, with with the the strength and conditioning and the fitness side of things to do things in the the first 24 to 48 hours to help. Well, right after the game, you know, you have the nutrition aspect you need to uh, to cover, right? So you give uh, you know, the players to replenish the store as early as possible. You know, that's why they have shakes, liquid form for be better assimilation. Uh, the stretching takes place at some point. And then uh, that's why also we have two buses so they can spread, sleep if possible, and uh, start to recover. It was the first game of the World Cup again against a, uh, a very good opponent, and it was a very physical game. You know, uh, you must not get sore. Uh, then they get tight, and uh, the, so the regeneration is is everything that englobes all these aspects. Meaning, uh, you're going to go back to pretty much what your body was before today. And as much as possible, you want to do it as quickly uh, as quickly as you can because there's training to follow and then another little phase of tapering before the next game. It's not that you're going to shove the, uh, fluids down the throat, okay? So you, you tell them to hydrate on a regular basis. This is an issue that you uh, try to prevent before the game try to avoid during the game and obviously um, as soon as the game is over uh, you want to prevent it again. You know we just tell them to adjust their, their fluid intake. The main energy sources for, for the actual muscle is protein. So you want the right amount of protein um, with the right timing. And then we have all of the techniques you know between the cold bath, uh, the massage, uh, the stretching and the combination of a few different things that, at the end, you know, makes you feel like your muscles are ready to go again. I think it's part of a process, okay? We've been working hard, we've been trying to, uh, to be in optimal shape by the time we play England. And uh, once you get to that point, um, you don't become out of shape that fast, you know? If you recover, I mean, you, can, you would be peaking for 10 to 12 days. I'm confident that, uh, based on the work we've done, and with the timing of things this time, um, we should be in good shape.